movie starts with a young boy named Jim Levenstein, who is watching dirty movies and is about to shake hands with the unemployed. Suddenly, her mother barges into the room to say goodnight. Jim tells her mom that there is some problem with the reception, and she bought the lie. As she is about to leave, she hears some moaning sounds from the TV and starts accuses him of watching illegal channels. His father also comes to the room and tries to defend Jim by saying that it's a bad reception. The remote is not working, and as Noah takes the remote from Jim, he also pulls the pillow from his lap, revealing the third leg with socks on it. A moment of awkwardness for Jim. Next day, Jim is hanging out with his friends in the lobby when Stifler arrives and invites them to the party at his house. I'll look for you in the no f***ing section. <laughs> they all agree to come and Stifler leaves. Later that evening, they are discussing about the party and Jim asks for some hairstyle suggestions. Kevin suggests him to change the shirt that he has been wearing for past three days. As they are leaving, Jim asks, what does third base feels like? And Oz says it's like warm apple pie. McDonald's or homemade? The scene changes to Stifler's party, and he is greeting everyone except for Sherman. Sherman goes to Jim and Kevin and tells them about a girl who has shown interest in him. Sherman lives in a hopeless fantasy world, where he believes he is sent to the past to change the future of one lucky girl. He calls himself Shermanator and leaves. Jim notices Nadia, his neighbor from Czechoslovakia. He asks Kevin about his next step, and he suggests talking to her. By the way, Kevin is in a serious relationship with Vicky, but they are not intimate yet. Jim takes Kevin's advice and heads to Nadia, who is with her girl group. He approaches with an awkward laugh, because they were also laughing. After an awkward silence, he tells her that he'll see her later and leaves. Meanwhile, Oz is hanging out with a girl from college in her car. He tries to act like a player, spouting cheese ball lines, and then suddenly asks her to give him a missile hickey. She starts laughing at him and calls him pathetic. She tells him that he needs to learn to give attention to a girl and be sensitive to her feelings. Later, when Oz shares his experience with his friends, Stifler starts laughing at him, mocking him. So me, beautiful. <laughs> On the other hand, Kevin and Vicky are having a good time together. As Kevin is about to release the population paste, he does it in a beer cup. Stifler arrives with his date and tells them to vacate the room. They sit together and Stifler acts as if he cares about the girl. She wants beer and he gives him the cup that was used by Kevin. As she is about to drink it, Stifler takes it from his hand and starts making out. She stops him and tells him to keep the things between them and not spread a word. He agrees and takes a sip from the beer. As he gulps it down, he realizes that the contents of the beer were a little too sensational. He ends up puking on the girl who leaves immediately. Kevin and other boys laugh at Stifler as he is talking to God on a big white telephone. Kevin tells Jim that he is bored doing the same things with Vicky over and over and wants to get intimate. Unfortunately, Vicky hears him and leaves with her friend. Next morning, the group finds Finch sitting on a chair drinking. He wanted to make a fashionably late entrance, but unfortunately, he was too late. The group then sees Sherman hugging a girl goodbye. They are confused. How can a guy like Sherman get laid? Sherman suggests them to stop being boys and join the man's club and leaves. All the friends are now depressed at their condition. Kevin comes up with an idea of forming a pact with the group. They pledge that they will lose their virginity by high school graduation. The group agrees and feels motivated. Their tiger style kung fu is strong, but our dragon style will defeat it. The Shaolin masters from east and west must unite. Fight and find out who is number one. Kevin distributes love gloves to their friends as a start of their pact. Vicky accuses Kevin of wanting her only for his physical needs, so he tries to repair their relationship before senior prom. He talks to Vicky's friend and confesses that he has done wrong. Jessica tells him that Vicky never even had an orgasm, so he should start with that. Unfortunately, Kevin has no experience in the field. He talks to his older brother who tells him about a hidden book in the library that could help him. He finds the book of love, sharing experiences of everyone who has ever used it. Meanwhile, Jim is playing with the rubber Johnny when his father knocks at the door. He immediately hides everything before his father comes to the room. His father gives him some magazines to play with and starts talking about them, which makes him uncomfortable. As he is putting the magazines in his drawer, he sees the condom packets Jim was hiding. He leaves the room while one is stuck to his pants. Oz takes the advice of the college girl and joins the acapella group to explore his sensitive side. I can work this sensitive angle here, fellas. When his friends see him, they start mocking him. I think you need your b reattached. Oz tells them that there are some beautiful chicks in the group as well. He befriends a girl named Heather. On the other hand, Finch, who is a mini golfer sophisticate, asks a favor of Kevin to agree to whatever rumors he hears in the school. When he leaves, a girl approaches Kevin and asks if Finch really has a big red-headed champion, and Kevin affirms. One day, Jim comes back to home and sees the apple pie in the kitchen, which reminds him of third base. He checks the validity of it and starts feeding it to his children. 
Again, he has not locked the door, and his father arrives. An awkward moment for both. Later, his father says he will tell his mother they ate it all. Some days later, as Jim and his friends are leaving the class, when Nadia asks him to tutor her for history, he agrees to it and she tells him that she'll come at his place after ballet class, so she'll change her clothes at his place. Jim and his friends are psyched. Stifler tells him to broadcast it when she comes, and everyone supports the idea. Next day, Jim sets up the camera and Nadia arrives. He tells her to make herself at home and leaves. He instantly rushes to his friend's house, who is already watching the broadcast. Nadia becomes a little too comfortable and starts reading the magazines Jim's father brought for him. She even went downstairs. Kevin advises Jim that if he wants to make his advances on Nadia, this is the only time. He rushes back home and goes into the room. He asks if Nadia needs an extra hand, which startles her. Jim says sorry and is about to leave when she stops her. She tells him to strip because he has seen her, and now it's her turn. Jim starts to dance. Jim initially shared the broadcast to his friends only, but unfortunately it was sent to everyone in his list. Everyone watches him strip on the internet. As Nadia advances her moves on him, Jim experiences a premature outburst, which spoils the fun for everyone. Nadia is disappointed and about to leave when Jim stops her and asks her to give another chance. He says it was just warm-up, and as he touches her, he loses it again. Everyone watching the stream is utterly disappointed. The next day, as Jim makes his way to school, everyone makes fun of him. His friends approach and ask if the Minute Man still has a chance with Nadia. He informs them that Nadia's sponsors also saw that video, and they deported her back to her country. Jim is exhausted and hopeless. After class, a girl is continuously telling her band camp stories to Jim. She doesn't know why Jim is upset, which makes him assume that she doesn't know about the webcam incident. He asks her out for prom and she agrees. Meanwhile, Stifler's prom date refuses to go with him. She has heard the rumor that Finch defeated him in a duel, and she would like to go with him, which angers Stifler. Finch has spread many rumors about him throughout the school with the help of Jessica by paying her money. To take revenge, Stifler mixed laxative in Finch's drink, and now he is rushing toward the toilet. Stifler guides him to a woman's restroom. In the restroom, as girls are talking about Finch, he is dropping a beatbox symphony in the porcelain amphitheater. The girls hear it and rushes out the washroom. When Finch goes out, practically the whole school laughs at him. All the trouble Finch went through results to nothing. Kevin and his girlfriend are discussing their relationship. While Vicky has already said, I love you, to him, Kevin has not said it to her. He only wants to say it when he really means it, and Vicky understands it. All the friends prepare for prom. Jim gets pep talk from his old man and leaves. The group is talking about the pact they made and whether they'll fornicate. Jim gets upset and says that the pressure of doing it has taken all the fun out of it, and he don't want to do it anymore. Oz also wants to keep it slow with his girlfriend, and Finch basically have no partner for prom. Meanwhile, Vicky is talking with the girl who spent the night with Sherman. She tells Vicky that they spent their night talking. When Vicky tells her about the rumor Sherman has spread to his friends, she takes the stage and announces Sherman's lies. Sherman pees in his pants while everyone laughs at him. Later, they head to Stifler's party. At the party, Finch finds a room where entry is restricted. He goes in and finds Stifler's mom. We all know what happened next. Kevin and Vicky finds a room for themselves. Kevin expresses his feelings and says, I love you to Vicky. Then, they spent the night together, discussing whether they can play Uno plus four card on a plus four card. Michelle tells Jim that they learned many things at the band camp, including sex, and that she wants to see a practical demonstration, which excites Jim. Oz and Heather also spend their night together. The next day, Jim wakes up with an inflated Dino, realizing he has been used. But unlike a girl, he is happy about it. I was used. Cool. Stifler finds his mother with Finch and collapses to ground. At a restaurant, the group discusses their night. The end. I am raising funds to support this poor man. Do your part by liking the video. Until next time.